Okay, Joel Bell says, how do we feel about B. John Robinson? Um, like we said before, when the first when the first draft first draft pick first came off, was apprehensive about it because it felt like it wasn't a necess necessity necessarily a need at that pit. But then when you look at the financials behind it, it actually makes way more sense than most people realize. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is the running back room is one of the mid-level to low-level salaries mm -hmm. in this league. And by you setting up a guy, the way that it can be set up is you have a guy that might not necessarily be a guy that's going to destroy your cap down the line. You can get mm -hmm. a lot done with that. See, and then when you looked at Jalen Carter, the problem with that was you just saw, who was it, Dexter Lawrence just get about 70 million guaranteed? That defensive tackle position is becoming expensive. Yeah. It's becoming real expensive. So, like you said, a lot of like a lot of these teams, and the Falcons may be one of those teams. That's why you didn't really see them draft a big name defense tackle because that position's starting to get expensive. While that position is getting expensive, the running back room, the running back is starting to get a little cheaper. So it well, like I said, and, and he brings the versatility that they're looking for. Like I said, essentially, you have potentially, really, you have really four or five guys that have a certain versatility that you can put on offense. Like you mm -hmm. said, B. John Robinson, Cordero Patterson, Kyle Pitts, John Lou Smith. Hey, I'm might look, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. You're gonna see a different Tyler Algier this year. You might see him catching more passes. Mm -hmm. And don't forget, Avery Williams is a reliable third down back too, so they slowly building this offense to pretty much tell the let Desmond Ritter, no, you don't have you don't have to be the savior. Just get the ball to the receivers and let them do their damn thing. And you got a lot of guys that do their thing after catch, after contact. And that's what this offense is all about. I'm glad 